Hello, this is Obutu from Obutu.org and uh, in our last video we had seen how to how data is stored in uh, T24 co-banking application so we are going to continue from that and see how to extract that data from the T24 co-banking application and load it into a data warehouse and then uh, do some analytics from it using Spago BI to help us with this we are going to use a tool called Talent Okay, so we do have a tool called Talent, Talent Open Studio. It's a free tool that we use for data integration. It's, a, it's a, one of the best data integration tools that we have there. The good news is that it is an open source tool, so you can download it for free and uh, use it for your data integration and the data migration jobs. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do uh, before we start building the staging area and the data warehouse is that we will need to extract some data from uh, the T24 co-banking application. Just to recap, for those who have not looked at the first video, a T24 co-banking application, we have said, is one of the best uh, co-banking systems out there in the market. And uh, it is very sophisticated in that it doesn't use a relational database. What it uses is what we call a multi-value database. And uh, what multi-value databases do is that uh, they allow you to store one uh, more than one value in a cell. So they do not follow the uh, the relational uh, database modeling. Okay, so uh, let's see how to extract some data. Uh, also, note that T24 also supports uh, Oracle databases. You can use it to uh, the data can be dumped into Oracle database or SQL Server. But uh, note that at the at the at the middle, we'll still have uh, the JBase runtime environment. So the data will be pumped into the database as an XML file. So we will look into that. But for now, we'll look at a T24 application that have been configured to use purely JBase uh, database. So how do you extract data from JBase database? It, it supports a select or a variant of a select uh, statement that we are going to to use. So I'll go to JSH uh, or uh, JBase screen. Then what I'll do is that uh, we are using a model bank, so you need a license for this, so you can just talk to Terminos if you want to test. Uh, if you're not a customer of, uh, of Terminos, so you can get one from Terminos. So just go to Terminos.com and uh, you can see how to get the T24 model bank. Okay, so I'll use this statement. So what I'm simply doing is that, remember we had said that in T24, data is stored as files. So what we normally call the table in a relational database are called files in T24. So we have this file called fbmk.customer. We had seen it in the last video. So this file stores customer information. So we are going to select from this and the, the attributes or the columns that we want from that file are ID, short name, country, sector, etc. So what we'll do is that we'll generate a, a, a text file which will dump where we will dump all information about customers from this file and we are going to separate the files or delimit it using uh, this symbol here a pipe okay so i'll just select that and then i go paste it in a jbs window okay so it tells me it has selected 373 records. So once you do that in JBase, you need to save that list into a file. So I'll just say save uh, the list. And then the file that I'll save it into will be called customer.list. Okay. So that when, when I press enter, that file will be saved here. I hit enter so 373 records saved to list customer dot list so if I come to this file to this folder I see that I have my file here if I look at it I'll just open it with a text editor okay so you can see that this is a list of customers and uh, every uh, column have been delimited with a pipe so how do we get this data into um, a MySQL database so that we can uh, do analytics from it using uh, Spago BI. So as I've said, Spago supports talent and uh, the next thing that we need to do now is to go to talent 
Once you are in talent, I'm using version uh, 4.02. You can use uh, any other version. So 4.02, that's the version I'm using. So the first thing, once you've opened talent, you create a project. So the project that I had created in talent is called Spago T24. So the name is very important because when we export it to, into Spago BI, uh, we we'll need that name. So my project is called Spago T24. Create yours with any name that you want. Once you've created uh, a project, number two, you need to create a job. Okay, you need to create a job. So my job is called T24. So that's my job here. So you can, under job design, you just right click and then you say create a job. So I've created mine, it's called T24. So once you create a job, it will open this tab here. Okay. Now, once you've created the job, number three, I mean number four, you need to create a delimited file. Remember our file, this one. We now have to import it into Spago. This file that we have there, where data from T24 have been saved, this file. We need to create it in our talent. Okay, my machine is saved. Okay. So how do you do that? You come to metadata here. Under metadata, under metadata, you will find file delimited. So under file delimited, you just right click and then you create you say create file delimited. Okay, so you give your file a name. So for example, we can uh, we can say customer customer three. Customer three because I've already created one called customer. So that's the name of my file. And then you click on browse and select the location where you have your file. So ours is called customer.list. So you see in the file viewer, it just dumps the contents of the file. So mine is a delimited by a pipe but what i'll do i have to tell it under file separator that my file is delimited delimited by a pipe and not a semicolon and then now under preview under preview i'll stop here i'll stop the preview and so it's delimited by a pipe then I refresh the preview so you can see now that column zero is that, column one, column two. Remember my file did not have column names. That's why it has automatically generated for them. So you say next. Okay. So if you want to change uh, the data type for the columns, you can change here. But uh, then once you've changed, you say finish. But I'm not going to create this file because I'd already created one called the customer. I just wanted to show you how to create. So I have my customer, customer file. So once you've created your customer file, you just uh, drag it here. So I dragged mine. You just drag it on the job on the canvas. So that is uh, what you get when you drag it. Okay. So this now becomes your input. This becomes your input. Like if I was to drag this here, I choose T file input delimited. T file input delimited. So that's what you choose. I'll cancel because I dragged mine here. So that's that. Then number two, we have our input, which is now the, the delimited uh, file. Then we need our output. Remember the output will be the, ta uh, the table in the database because we want to take data from the file and then push it into the MySQL table called FBNK underscore customer. If I go to MySQL, if I go to MySQL, Warehouse. Uh, so there is this table, I'll just describe it FBNK and the for customer. So that's where we want all our data to come into. So remember, all these columns they map one on one onto uh, my file. On this, they map onto this file customer the list. So that's where I want to push my data into using uh, uh, talent. Okay. So how do we create that file in talent? We come to DB connections. You right click, then you say create a connection. So you give your connection a name, DB test. You click 
click, uh, click on next select the database type mine is mysql you can select any that you want okay so my login root i put my password okay the database is called t24 warehouse then i test to see so the test connection is successful then i finish but i'm not going to do that because i had already created mine i'm just showing you how it's done so my db connection is called t24 warehouse so once you've created your database connection the next thing is to uh, retrieve a schema from that connection so the schema now will be my my table where i want the customer data to be populated so you right click on your connection then you say retrieve schema okay so you say next now you select the table that you want fbnk.customer in our case next and then you finish so i'll not do that because i've already done it so if we look here under table schemas you can see i have fbnk custom so now what i'll do okay i just click this and then again drag it on my canvas so if you drag it on your canvas you now select t mysql output because it will be the output i not do that because i've already done that so yeah it is now between your customer and your fbnk uh, customer table you need to do some cleanup or some processing and also you need to map the columns so remember our table if you look at our table the, the amount of columns that we have in our table in our delimited file and the amount of columns that we have in our uh, in our table they are different so you need to to do some mappings our table i have added more columns for example for auditing purposes okay so now if you go to processing under processing you'll get an item called team map this one here so also you drag it here so i've already done that and then what you do is that you right click uh, shift uh, shift right click on customer and then you drag to team map one so sorry you drag to team up one and then when you do that i don't do that because i've already done that it will create for you this line uh, row one and then you do the same from team up one to fbnk uh, customer it will ask you uh, for you to give it a name so i've given it the name customer then once you do that you double click on team up one okay so here now you you do the mapping remember that column zero maps on column ad aid so you just click and drag so it's, it's just a matter of clicking and dragging like that click and drag and then just like that until you reach the the last one and then you say uh, okay so i'll cancel because i already done that okay so that's how you do the mapping on uh, on your talent so this this is not a video really about talent but about spago so that's why i'm just going very fast there are a lot of uh, uh, video tutorials on talent so if you don't know talent you can uh, you can look at them okay so once we do that we are ready now to test so i'll just confirm that i don't have anything so i don't have anything on that table so now if I go to run and then I, I test by just running this job and just click on the run okay so you see it's starting 373 rows in in 0 0.29 seconds so it has taken from this uh, uh, customer file through team up it has dumped 373 rows into the table customer so let's just confirm that it has done that again by so you can see now the data is there so that's how you you create a job in talent and also uh, you map your files so now once you've created this job we need to export it into spago bi okay remember this is something you do once once you've done it once you export it into spago then now you will schedule the jobs in spago so that when you uh, at, at, at the appropriate time spago will automatically be looking for that file you can do a script in Unix so that uh, it extracts that maybe at midnight to extract the data 
from uh, your, your uh, co-banking application. Spago will look at and from uh, on a file system for that file. Automatically, we load it into a database, and then we'll start another job to do the to maybe create the uh, the OLAP cubes uh, to generate reports, and uh, then it can also mail those reports to your user. So it's a very uh, beautiful tool for doing uh, uh, analytics. Okay, so. How will we now export this job into Spago? So remember our job is this one, T24. So you just right click. Okay. You can deploy on Spago BI or you can just export job scripts. So we'll export job scripts. Okay. So you select where the archive file will be. So I'll just put mine in, uh, in the desktop. I'll call it T24 uh, training. Training two. It's a zip file. Okay. So now here we we select. Uh, you can just select everything. You can select everything, except for extract zip file. We don't want to extract the zip file. Then we say finish. So it has finished exporting. So we are done with Spago. Now when we go to desktop we'll see that the file have been uh, generated and uh, on the next video we don't want this to be very long on the next video we'll now see how to take that file that we have exported put it into Spago BI once we put it into Spago BI then we'll see how now to schedule jobs uh, from that thank you for viewing if you have more information or queries you can always get us at uh, ogutu.org thank you